I don't think nobody could throw with Ellis. There was a lot of outfielders that had arms, great arms, but Ellis was greater. You're not going to see a much better throw than this. He's out! Ellis Valentine may not be a household name now, but he was one of the most gifted ball players of his time. Ellis was a special talent. Uh, certainly his arm gained him the most notoriety, but he was a, a full five-tool player. He could hit for average, hit for power. Mercy on us, it's gone. He was the real deal. Ellis played 10 seasons in the bigs, and during that time, he became known for his cannon arm. Valentine's arm is a marvel to behold. I seen him cut loose with a baseball that just stayed waist high from right field all the way to third base or waist high all the way to home plate. Valentine has a gun on his shoulder. When balls were hit to him, you just hope somebody would run and challenge him because he could throw a laser. Here's the throw! After a while, they understood that, hey, you can't go on him. You just can't take that extra base. Valentine won a gold glove in 1978. And in that same year, he made a play that amazed his teammates. There was a play involving the Cincinnati Reds, and Davey Concepcion was on second base. There was a ground ball down the first baseline, and Ellis went over in the corner and stopped it, trapped it right up against the base of the wall. So now, he, I don't know, he's probably, what, 310 or 15 feet from home plate. Valentine throws this rocket on the fly, mind you, to me at home, and here I am catching the ball and tagging out Davey Concepcion. Ellis Valentine, without a doubt, best arm, best all-around player that I probably ever played with. 